representing Puerto Rico. His record 25 and 4, 16 knockouts, ranked number 9 in the world, Jonathan Okendo. One hundred twenty-nine pounds for Jonathan Okendo. Jonathan Okendo, one hundred twenty-nine pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing Mexico, a veteran of sixteen world title bouts. He's a two-division world champion. Introducing Johnny Gonzalez. Johnny Gonzalez weighs in at 129 pounds. Both fighters at 129. He will be facing a man with a 91% KO percentage. Made his pro debut in Washington, D.C. with the first round knockout. Holds an impressive undefeated record of 11-0 with 10 KOs. Please make some noise for Gavante Tank Davis. Weighing in at 130 pounds, Ricky Dulé. Weighing in at 132 and a half pounds, Gervonta Davis. Both fighters meeting mid-stage for the stare down. Fan experience happening at 6 p.m. MGM Grand Talent Pool. Free! Keyword. Free. Tank versus the Terror. Thank you. And his opponent to the stage at this time, he is the defending champion, making his first defense. Please welcome, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Sweden, Bado Jack. And gentlemen, to the scale for this world title bout, weight limit 168 pounds. First, here is the top ranked world contender, the two time world title challenger from London, St. George Grove. Right at the limit of 168 pounds for St. George Grove. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with a record of 19 wins, one loss, one draw, he has 12 knockouts. Here is the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Bado Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper weighs 
weighs in at 167 and one half pounds. together for their stare down great photo opportunity somewhat of a grudge match and it's a big one for the WBC super middleweight championship of the world Enjoy this moment tomorrow night with everyone in here who's come out to support me. I can't wait. Uh, we're in fantastic shape. Danny Jack is not going to know what's hitting him. Uh, he's out of his depth. He's in with a fire he cannot compete with. I cannot wait to go out and strut my stuff tomorrow night. What do you feel you have to do, particularly early in the fight, to be successful? I just got to beat myself. Uh, what does that mean? It means Danny Jack, no matter how good he is, he's not as good as me. I'm a better fighter in every aspect. Because of that, we're going to make sure that, uh, well, if that's it, I can't explain it any more simply than that. Alright, best of luck, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Well, you just heard what George had to say, your response. I didn't hear him, sorry. <laughs> well, he says it doesn't matter, well, you can hear the people, it seems like he has a lot of fans here. I wouldn't think that there would be a home advantage of any sort, but it seems like a lot of people have come overseas for him. Is that any problem for you? Absolutely not. They can't fight for him. But UK fans are actually the best fans in the world. They always travel to his hit up big fights. What concerns you most about him? Nothing really. I'm, I'm prepared to, you know, for war. So we're ready. Best of luck. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thank you. Pay-per-view brought to you by Mayweather Promotions. At this time, we bring out fighters in our semi-main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. It's a rematch in a classic Mexico versus Puerto Rico boxing showdown. First, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger from Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico. He is the number three WBO world contender, the former two division champion of the world, Orlando Siri Salido. opponent from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, the three-time and current WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Roman Martinez. And now we invite our final to the scale this world title bound has a weight limit of 130 pounds now ladies and gentlemen mexico's veteran of 58 professional bouts and 12 world title appearances please welcome the challenger orlando siri salido
Orlando Salido weighs in right at the limit of 130 pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the defending champion in his eighth world title appearance, representing Puerto Rico and defending his title, the WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Roman Martinez. Martinez weighs in at a ready 129 and one and a half pounds. Sylvester Stallone and Michael B. Jordan this Thanksgiving fight for your name and now we're ready to invite our fighters to the stage first here is the challenger from Winter Haven Florida by way of Haiti he is a two-time welterweight champion of the world please welcome Andre Berto
here he is, the boxing sensation, bidding farewell to competition in the ring, the pay-per-view king and pound-for-pound -pound superstar, the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. fighters to the scale weight limit for this fight 147 pounds it's for the unified WBC and WBA welterweight championship of the world first to the scale is the challenger ranked the number one welterweight in the world by the WBA the former world champion in his ninth world title appearance please welcome the challenger Andre Berto In his remarkable 26th world title appearance, here is the five division world champion, the current undefeated WBC, WBA, welterweight and super welterweight champion of the world, Floyd Money Mayweather. Six pounds.
you saying, man? Like I said, man, we're here. We're here for a reason. And I, you know, I don't get caught up in all the rest of the shit. I done. Like I already been through. You know, I already been through a lot. And I'm here for a reason. And I'm gonna be here on Saturday night. We're gonna go ahead and do what we do. And the fact that absolutely nobody is giving you a chance strikes you as what? It don't matter. You know, come from where I come from, we never had a chance to come out of that. But just the fact that I'm here, it tells you something. So, I ain't listening to none of that. Have you heard of Roberta Vinci? I don't know. She beat Serena Williams today. She was unranked in one of the biggest upsets ever. Is that the type of a performance? And can something like that, lightning strike twice in the same weekend? Of course, man. God is good. So everybody just tune in. Best of luck. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Appreciate it. All right. What would you like to have to eat that you've been denying yourself now for these past couple of decades? Um, it has always been easy for me to make 147 pound weight. Um, I just can't wait to get out there and get the fans excitement tomorrow. Now, we had a huge upset today. Serena Williams, who everybody basically says is the best female tennis player ever, got beat by someone who was unranked. So obviously you're aware of the dangers having had lightning strike here today. What concerns you most about Andre Berto? Everybody is summarily dismissing him other than you. Um, you know, I don't overlook any opponent. But, you know, I've been here before. I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. Um, just stay focused, stay on the parallel path, and go out there and do what I do best, and that's win. When will it hit you that this is the final walk, the final time, if in fact it is? Um, you know, out of a 19-year career, almost 20 years, to, you know, to be world champion 18 years, you know, I couldn't do it without all the fans. The question was, though, when will it hit you? Um, I don't, I don't focus on that. My, you know, I, I look at this as, he's another tough guy. He has a, a high knockout ratio. He's a tough, he's a rugged competitor, but I faced everybody in the sport of boxing. I faced Bacchiao, I faced Cotto, I faced Canelo. I fa I've already faced the best fighters. Final thought, no one knows when Father Time will strike. You've stayed on the schedule. You've done exactly what you said you would do. You would fight every September and every May on the Showtime contract. At some point, Will that catch up with you, and could that be tomorrow, or do you feel that you're well rested and well, well rejuvenated after the Pacquiao fight? Well, we'll just have to see. You know, I'm in top condition. We had a, a, a great training camp. You know, training camp went tremendous. But the main thing tomorrow is going out there, being at my best. And um, since Pacquiao didn't get a fans a good fight, tomorrow is going to be a, a, a great fight. Your thoughts? I wish Showtime. I only focused on show, Showtime fighters. <laughs> well, it'll be on Showtime pay-per-view tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Thank you. All right. Back to you, Brian.